Hey everybody, it's Wayne Bogan. So today's exercise is to go through and look at the next step of the process, which is to seal all the vents. So I've closed the uh, individual plastic vents. I'll show you those, uh, just as a reminder. And then now I'm going to go in and measure a couple of the different uh, other vents, make sure I've got the right size. I'm going to take my foam board and then I'm going to cut it into pieces. And I'm actually going to come in, put them in place, and then seal them up. So let's go from there. So if you look at the vents, uh, you can see that I've got this little plastic piece that allows me, this little lever, allows me to come and open the vents or to close the vents. So that's what I've done so far. So I'll go inside and I'll measure the back side and we'll look at putting the foam insulation on the back side and, and permanently sealing these up. Okay, so I need to come in now, cut some of the foam board into pieces. So this piece of foam board actually is already pre-cut or perforated in sections. I've broken one section off, and this one is 16 inches by the 8 foot. If you come in, it'll be hard to see, but there's actually two other perforations here where I can come back in and measure. Going from the edge to this perforation is 16 inches. From this one back here is 16. If you want it shorter, there's a perforation there. So it's simply a matter of taking and breaking it in that part of perforation, getting a smaller piece. So now I've got my 16 inch. My 16 inch, I'll measure the seven and a half for each of the pieces and I can put those in place. Okay, so now that I've finished cutting, I have 21 different foam boards. 16 inches by seven and a half based on the measurements I had done. So I'll go in, put these in place, come back and use some uh, break stuff gap filler, fill it around the outside to make sure there's no air flowing through. Not as much worried about insulation from a cold perspective. I'm going to leave the insulation in between the floor joist, uh, but mainly just trying to block the air from getting in and out. So let's do an install and see how it works. Okay, so now that we've put this one in place, I'm going to take my new board, 16 by 7 half. It's 7 half because the mortar around the edge raises up the lip, so I needed to cut out a half an inch for that. So let's put it in place. All right, and so now I just need to take the great stuff and fill in the gaps. Okay, so that's all there is to it. I'll come back and check it later on to make sure there's not any um, seams where air is getting in or lights getting in. Um, very similar to what I did with this one yesterday. So I'll go through and I'll finish up each of the other pieces, the other vents, and then I'll be done. We'll start the measurements of the impact of putting and fully closing the vents compared to just having a partial close and air still coming through with the regular plastic vents that open and close. Alright, so let's see how it works.